Happy Christmas Eve of Christmas Eve. I don't even know if that's a real thing two days before uh, Christmas, but we're back together here with another video. Merry Christmas to everybody because we actually do say Merry Christmas here on this channel, right? Yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah, I love Christmas. Well, I don't know how many videos we've actually done on Walt Disney when it comes to their um, agenda. It's been quite a bit, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I really have a lost count, folks, but, um, shocker, we're back with another video here about Walt Disney. Now, this one here is probably about a little over a week or so old, right here, about nine days old. But, um, we never did a video on it. And we want to actually touch on this right here. Now, you guys already know Disney definitely has an agenda when it comes to LGBT content for children. It's pretty clear. That the executives actually making all of these decisions on what that would actually to put out. The agenda is pretty clear because they were actually out there on a um, company conversation. They want like 50 percent of the content to be like woke stuff and LGBT stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me. What is the percentage of people that identify as LGBT? What's, what's your best guess? Something mm. like 3% probably tops. 10% now. <laughs> well, actually, you know what? I'm, it's funny you said that because there was actually a, um, a study that was done. Mm -hmm. Like all of these really, really young people now. It's like one out of four, like 25% identifying as like LGBT. It's because they've been pushed to think that way. But in reality, it's about three, maybe 4% tops but when it comes to disney it seems like every single show every single movie they put out they're pushing lgbt content in it mm -hmm. all the time now you remember the original uh, willow movie george lucas did you actually see that no it's it's a fantasy movie you know lord of the rings kind of light i guess you can say uh, the original character was um, was uh, Willow Offgood, a little short guy. Mm -hmm. Now Disney has made a new show, a follow up to it, and it's getting destroyed. And they're, they're pushing LGBT content in that show. It's not even about Willow anymore. It's about this. Uh, and even a writer actually said this. The lesbian love story is front and center of the show. Mm hmm. But it doesn't seem like it's enough for these activists out there. It will never be enough. No matter what Disney does, Lightyear, gay stuff in it, Star Wars, Rise of Skywalker, uh, gay stuff in it at the end. Uh, what's the new show, Strange World? Yeah. It's, it, the whole thing is LGBT content. But Glad thinks that Disney, they're failing at it. Yeah, they're worried it insufficient. It, it, yeah, insufficient. I, I I just don't get this. Because everywhere you look up, Disney is pushing lesbian or gay propaganda. Remember, remember Andor? Mm -hmm. The Andor show. A couple of the characters, guess what? What's her name? Uh, Val, Mom Mothma's uh, cousin. She has a lesbian lover in the show. Yeah, but it's not like, you know... It, it's not like it, in your face. Yeah, it's thing. not in your face. And plus, well, did they say it's a kid's show too? No, 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 no. Because and, Andor is definitely not a kid's show. It definitely has more of an adult yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it but, does. But kids can watch the show. I mean, it's still Star Wars at the end of the day. Yeah, but it's not like they're lesbian stuff it's not you know yeah yeah and it's not that you know it's not like they're kissing or yeah it's know, not what? at the central part of the show and actually when Val yeah. and I don't remember the other woman's name when uh Val comes back the other woman is trying to get her attention but Val is kind of like uh basically we got a mission to do I don't I don't really have time for <laughs> you know there's no kissing they never hold hands it's just the way they communicate with each other. Disney didn't go over the edge 
uh, pushing that. Yeah. But uh, look, look at this uh, picture right here. Mm -hmm. That was at the end of Rise of Skywalker right here. Some irrelevant character, when they defeat the First Order, they have a them kiss. Not enough. It's never going to be enough. But Disney's been going after Ron DeSantis because Ron DeSantis wants to um, put an end to uh, grooming children. And Disney, initially, they didn't take a stand. But the old CEO was like, OK, we need to pander to that one activist out there that was protesting. Therefore, we are against protecting children. You realize this is all about children, right? Disney's yeah. supposed to be about for children, but some of the stuff that they're pushing out there, I wonder if you got, you know what? This would not be, this would not surprise me. And this is pretty scary. Imagine having a drag queen show on Disney plus for children. Oh, that would be very, very bad. Yeah. You, you know, that's coming, right? No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that you guys let, let us know in the comment section. I'm willing to bet it's probably a hundred percent chance there's going to be some type of a drag content on Disney Plus in the next five years. I mean, I it seems like a lot of movies now, so they have some, like, um, you know, lesbian gay stuff in it. But for adult movie, I think it's, it's okay. I mean, like, I, you know, see them in the movies, like, even in, like, some anime, but... Like it's more toward adult. It's not for children, which, it, for me, it does. I don't really like to see that stuff, but it's okay for me. I just close my eyes for a while. But I'm saying that, like, um, for adult, it will. I mean, for me, I know the difference between you know. Um, I'm not. A child anymore. I know it's the different, you know. Right, right. But for children, yeah, that's Disney's supposed to be story, for children, you know. Yeah, yeah, and there's a difference, you know, between like pushing LGBT propaganda mm -hmm. versus it being organic. You remember that movie, um, Bohemian Rhapsody about Queen, Freddie Mercury, lead singer of Queen. He's actually a bisexual man, but they want to call him a gay man. Okay. It was a good movie, and it had nothing to do with him being necessarily gay. It was more focused on his career as a singer, and he just so happened to be gay. But what Disney's doing, they're pushing propaganda up front and in your face instead of focusing on, on a story. Philadelphia. Remember Philadelphia with on Tom Hanks back in, I believe, 1993? Yeah. He was a gay man. And of course, him being gay and having AIDS, that was that was the main focus of everything. But the story was good. And that's why that movie was successful. Instead of like, hey, this is gay propaganda. It, it felt very, very different from the stuff that Disney's doing. Yeah. And that movie is an adult movie. It's yeah, not, it, it's an know. adult. Both of those both of those movies are adult movies. Yeah. But the uh, the the gay propaganda really isn't in your face. They're really trying to push it in your face at Disney and the executives. They're not even trying to hide it, but still glad thinks that no matter what Disney's doing. They get an insufficient mark. Um, it says here, glad gave Disney an insufficient mark in its annual alphabet inclusivity report card, saying the company's efforts have been lacking despite progress. Made in recent years, the group slammed Disney for donating twenty five thousand dollars to anti LGBTQ politicians uh, without noting that Disney has historically donated to politicians across the political spectrum. And what else does it say here? Uh, Disney wasn't alone in Glass annual act of Hollywood uh, chastisement. All the studios reviewed this year received bad marks. Mm -hmm. With the worst grade handed out to Paramount and Lionsgate, both studios received failing marks for not featuring a single identifiable, identifiable LGBT character in any of his films they released in 2021. I would say probably 
And I could be wrong about this. I'm not really sure. I'll probably say, what, 70 percent of Disney stuff out there has some type of an LGBT character in it. Now, Avatar is under Disney. There's none of that in it. No. Every Star Wars project has something out there like that. Now, Obi-Wan did not have that. There wasn't any LGBT content in Obi-Wan. Not that I can think of. Mm. Uh, Andor, yeah, we did see that in Andor. Clone Wars, no. Mandalorian, no. Mandalorian, no. Now, it's been a couple of years since Mandalorian came out. Now, the Ahsoka show is coming out next year. Okay. So, it's actually going to be an extension of uh, Rebels. So, I don't know if they're going to go with the LGBT stuff. Well, I guess like the, what's it called? G-L-A-A-D? Yeah, GLAD. Yeah, I want Disney to, like, every yeah, I guess show so. is I want to know. I want to know what is a sufficient mark. Because if you're giving Disney a failing grade and they have like LGBT stuff and almost everything, what what's actually a passing grade? That's what I'm curious about. I don't know, but should they rate for like? I mean, even though if it's a uh, what's it called LG whatever. Yeah. B T Q. Yeah, the alphabet. <laughs> That's all I would call um, it. I mean, should they rate it based on the actor and actress performance? But, but the thing and is, glad like the storyline. Glad, glad doesn't care about all that. They care about the propaganda. They don't care about good stories. Glad has nothing to do with movies. It's just this. Um, I don't know if they're nonprofit or what, but it's all about um. Alphabet stuff. That's all they care about. They don't care about good content whatsoever. Now. Well, I'm glad that they are not rating enemy. You never know. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Let's see here. Uh, glad praised Disney's uh, mega flop Strange World for featuring a uh, gang team protagonist. The animated feature was a box office bus grossing just 31 million domestically. Wow. Uh, quote, having a gay teen protagonist in a family film is a huge step in the right direction for the genre. An example, we'd like to see more uh, studios follow. But they still gave uh, Disney a failing grade, <laughs> even with mm-hmm. a strange world. Um, West Side Story. Glad gave uh, failing marks to some of Disney's big screen releases using the new Vito Russo test, a gay version of the feminist uh, Bato test. Steven Spielberg's West Side Story failed the test, even though it features a female to male transgender character, <laughs> as well as Oscar winner Arena de Bois, who is open, openly lesbian. So they still, even with that, they still gave it a failing grade? Wow. Yeah, but um, they praise uh, Disney make a flop strange. Yeah, world. yeah, yeah. That's what I was just saying right there. But still, oh. overall, they they failed uh, Disney. Overall, and I think Disney is pushing more alphabet stuff more than anybody. But it'll never be enough. It will never ever be enough. I don't know what Disney has on the slate for next year. Besides, I'm um, Ahsoka. This coming out. Now, Disney has had a bad year financially. But Bob Iger, remember, we actually did a video on this. Bob Iger said that um, they were going to stay the course on the wokeness. They're going to have to push back on this because they have shareholders. Shareholders are now suing Disney for losing the money. And this is a primary reason why. You're pushing a bunch of propaganda to please activists, but you have shareholders that want to return on their investment and you're doing a piss poor job on it. Well, they have money to lose, so. Yeah, but they're losing shareholder money. That's the problem. (laughs) I would not invest in Disney. I would not put one red cent in Disney. Because the old saying, you get woke, you go broke. So, 
Anything else to add to this before we wrap it up? And Yeah, but what if Disney decided to not push any of the, you know, LG? Oh, they'll, they'll, they'll be profitable. Mm-hmm. I mean, the activists are still no, be mad, but, then, but they'll like, be making money. You know, there will be a a backlash from GLA. Yeah, yeah, glad, yeah. Yeah, but but thing is, look look at other alternative uh, companies. Daily Wire, they don't push what propaganda. They do well. They make money. They make they make a profit. Daily Wire actually has a bunch of subscribers. Now they're not nearly, not even close to being as big as on Disney. And also, they're privately owned. They're not publicly owned. But there's a market out there, clearly for non woke stuff. People still want, you know, normal content that's family friendly without propaganda. Yeah. I mean, Disney's supposed to be for children. And there's already going to be a new, uh, uh, like a gay streaming network coming out. That's going to be dead on arrival. There's not enough people to actually want that. that. That movie Bros was made for gay people. Even gay people didn't go see it. Because I believe a lot of gay people, you know, they just enjoy Regular content, just like we do, you know, mm-hmm. but I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. This last uh, show before Christmas, we'll be back on Monday, the day after Christmas with another video. Until then, have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Goodbye. <laughs>